Welcome everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to use a chain breaker tool to break your motorized bicycle chain. Check the link out down below if you're looking to purchase the correct size chain breaker tool for your motorized bicycle chain or if you want to purchase a, an upgraded heavy duty chain that's going to be stronger than the stock motorized bicycle chain. First, let's go over the components of a chain so uh, you know exactly where to cut it. Your motorized bicycle chain consists of two main components, the roller link, which you see in the lower left, and the pin link, which you see in the upper left side. Now, the pin link has two pins in it. You have the connector plate, which you see in the bottom of the link, and then you also have the other connector plate which is then pressed on. So in order to break the chain we're going to use the tool and uh, the pin, there's a pin on the tool that is going to press down on the chain where you see the red arrow and that is going to drive the pin through the connector plate. You have to do that twice and when you've done that the pin link will then come loose and you have successfully broken your chain. So here is the tool in action where you can see the connector plate. We're going to drive the two pins through. To break the chain, you put the chain underneath the tool, open the jaws. The jaws get a firm grip on the inside of the roller link, underneath the plate of the roller link, and the pin that you screw down on the tool then drives against the pin of the chain of the pin link and presses it out. You want to make sure that the jaws of the tool have a firm grip on the chain, then slowly crank down on the, on the tool, pressing the pin down. Look at the underside of the chain and you can see how the pin link is being pushed through. When the pin has been popped through the plate, quite often you will hear a popping sound. Go ahead and unscrew it. Let's reposition the chain so we can drive the second pin out of the connector plate. Make sure you have a good grip of the jaws inside the roller. Go ahead and push it down. Sometimes with a chain the pin link and everything will just go ahead and fall loose at this point here. Quite often your newer chains are pretty stiff and it's pretty hard to get that pin out even though we've popped it loose from the plates. So sometimes you need to wrestle with it. Quite often I will use the tool to uh, go ahead and finish the job. I put the chain back into the uh, chain breaker tool and use the pin on the chain breaker tool to push out my chain link. And sometimes that's not even enough so I have to use a pair of needle nose or a, a, a screwdriver, a flat blade screwdriver to go ahead and pry the pin out. And here you can see how the pin has been forced out of the roller link using the tool. So now that you have your chain cut or broken, we want to go ahead and join it with a master link or a connector link, and I'll show you here. You can see the groove here. Now the master link is held together using a clip, which is going to snap into the groove there. You fit the pins of your master link through the roller links. Put your connector plate on. When you put the clip of your master link on, you want to be careful to note the rotation of the chain. Here we see the closed end of the clip. I want to make sure that the closed end of the clip is pointing in the direction of travel on the chain. In order to get the clip to go onto the master link, I'll use a pair of needle nose pliers. Make sure it's aligned with the groove. And to remove it, you can just uh, put the needle nose pliers against the pin and the other jaw against the clip and pop it right off. Just to recap, here's a chain installed on a bike. You can see the closed end of the master link. The chain will be traveling to the left here and you want to make sure that the closed end is aimed in the direction of travel. Now, not all chains are made the same. There is an optional chain that you can get for your motorized bicycle that's a heavier chain. It's a little bit wider on the inside. It'll give you a little bit more wiggle room if you have a little bit of play on your sprocket. And it's a little bit less likely to come off. As well, it's a stronger chain. So uh, if you want an upgraded chain, check the link down below. I can sell you a good chain. As well, I can sell you a chain breaker tool. 
Uh, the chain is a number 41 chain. You can get it at some hardware stores and some tractor supply stores. You can find them there. I want to thank you for watching my video. I hope I've helped you out. If you like it, give me a thumbs up. Click subscribe and thank you so much for watching.